All right, what's going on, guys? Um, in today's video, we're going to continue our climb in the Path of Legends. I reached Royal Champion, so now we're going to be on our way to Ultimate. Hopefully get there by the end of this short season. And I'm going to continue using the same deck as last video. Um, I think it's really good for this meta. So, that being said, let's jump right into the first one here. All right, so we got Kaju here. Let's see what he wants to do. And let me know what you guys think about the emergency nerf to the Phoenix and the Monk in the comments. It's definitely necessary, but is it going to be enough? Uh, that's the real question. Both the cards are very annoying to play. For my deck, honestly, I'd say the Monk is probably even more annoying. Um, just because... I can't really use uh, the Archer Queen when it's tanking. So this guy is playing a pump deck with NATO. Uh, go ahead and lightning that out. Let's see if he's got Mirror. He's got Healer. All right, we're gonna go ahead and Cannon. And it's going to be an Eagle on deck. He already used his NATO, which is good. Um, try to get rid of this Eagle as quick as possible and then take out the healer with the queen ability. That's what we would try to do, and it works. And then we take out the Lumberjack. <clears throat> that Phoenix is going to do some damage, but I don't think he has any Elixir, to be honest with you. So we're just going to go E-Giant at the bridge. So he's got an Executioner, and it's kind of a weird deck. I don't really want to do anything else. All right, good. I didn't want to NATO that in. All right, so I think we're going to have to go cannon here. Unless he plays something in front, then I can lightning, like an e All right, we're gonna lightning to kill that healer, hopefully. Not quite, but she'll die to the cannon. And we are good to go for this defense here. Um, just gonna reset, see what he wants to do. We'll play some skellies to try to kill those quicker. Should have played those sooner. That's all right. We're going to go Dark Prince in the back here. He plays another pump, so I'm just going to go e at the bridge. There's not much time left in this game. Um, try to take his tower out. He's probably going to let us have it. Not quite. He wastes his Lumberjack there, actually, which is really big. Uh, let's see what I can kill with this Queen right now. Maybe I can kill that healer. Nice. All right. So his push isn't going to mount to anything here. He doesn't have a healer uh, on the map anymore. So we should be good to go, I'm thinking. I'm just going to play an E-Giant to play it safe here. And that should be a good game. Uh, as long as we can take out the Phoenix Eggs, which we can. So that's looking really good. I'm going to go ahead and Barb Barrel this. All right. That was a mistake. I thought that the Phoenix was going to die. But everything's getting pulled to the opposite lane. Or sorry, pulled back. And he doesn't have enough time left, so I don't really have to do anything here. That's a good game. So that's kind of how you want to play E-Giant. You want to wait to use your Queen ability to take out the healer, because you really have no other way to take it out. Um, but yeah, that's one win down. Let's go ahead and jump right into the next one. All right, looks like we'll be playing an Asian player here. Don't have the best starting hand. Definitely don't want to... I could cycle my skellies, uh, get to the Dark Prince. Yay. All right, <clears throat> he's going to go... Princess, definitely don't want to go queen in the back because he probably has a rocket. He's going to go, excuse me, uh, goblin barrel. So we'll nato that to king, get a nice king tower activation. I think he's one card off of, all right, that's really annoying. I had to waste my barb barrel. Since he's got Skarmy and, yeah, and Dark Goblin, I wasn't thinking that he had a rocket, which he might still, but I don't think he does. Uh, we're going to go Cannon in the middle in case he plays a Princess and also to help take out the Mega Knight. Definitely a weird deck he's got going on here. I think I'm just going to go with a Dark Prince, try to keep my Cannon alive. And if he decides to play a Dark Gob as well, I'm going to Lighten it. Now he's going to go with a Prince. That is no fun. 
All right, hopefully that Prince goes to my cannon, and it does. So we're just gonna go E-Giant here. Uh, I don't have much better play. That should take care of all of that, and then we will take care of this RG with our queen. Uh, we'll get some decent damage here, and then take out that Dark Gob as well. So we're almost even on damage. Um, he's got a really weird deck. Mid lighter deck for sure. I don't think he has any spells to be honest. Only problem is I can't really cycle my barb barrel. Hopefully he just plays a goblin barrel. Uh, doesn't look like he's going to, so I'm going to barb barrel at the bridge. And go dark prince. His prince is going to be really tricky to deal with. Uh, er just going to be really annoying in general because it's going to be really good against my e-giant here um, i'm going to ignore that princess for the time being i'm gonna try to nato everything and try to get rid of that dark gob all right we're gonna try to get away with skellies on that princess there and we do and i'm gonna go e-giant again actually uh, I'll try to NATO everything in if he plays anything else. All right, that was so close. Um, getting the Skarmy as well. It's kind of unfortunate how that worked out. Uh, but we're looking to be in a good spot. I wish my E-Giant would have gotten one more tick there. That would have been nice. All right, this is going to be... All right, the Bats went in front, so we should be good here. Uh, we can take care of that Dark Gob. And... Our Dark Prince almost takes the tower there. I'm going to have to Queen ability and then play my E-Giant. Should've played that in front. Um, just wanted to make sure he didn't get to the tower there. He's probably gonna Mega Knight. Now he's gonna go with his Skarmy and then Mega Knight. It's kind of a weird spot. Um, if he lets my E-Giant get a single tick, that would've been good game. But I'm gonna try to get my Dark Prince on the Dark Gob there. Unfortunately, we don't get it. Uh, try to NATO everything back here and then go cannon to take care of that. And we're back to NATO already. Uh, all right, we're looking okay. I'm kind of making this way closer than it needs to be. <laughs> Look at the princes, that's funny. Um, I can't let any more damage, let him get any more damage on my tower. Need to get back to another. Right, sorry guys, went a little bit quiet there. Can we take that out? And we do. So that was way closer than it needed to be. I didn't play that too well, to be honest with you. Um, but we come away with the W. Really weird deck again from that guy. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right into the next one. Probably the last one. See if we can get three in a row here. All right, up against another interesting name. From Mad Scientists. Is he going to do anything? Doesn't look like it. I don't like waiting too long, so I'm going to go Dark Prince in the back. So he does have Monk. Um, definitely don't want to play my Queen into that. Uh, this is kind of annoying. Uh, we'll go Queen on the left side. And then Skellies to try and pull this over. He's probably going to pop the ability, you would think. And I'm actually going to go E-Giant at the bridge, guys. Hear me out. I know that's really kind of dirty. But <clears throat> he's gonna have to waste a lot of elixir here. And my queen stays alive, which is just massive. Um, she almost takes out the phoenix egg. Not quite. I'm gonna try to get a king tower activation on this. Let's see if he has enough help. And I didn't pull it off anyway, so that's all right. Just take one hit, kind of even out the damage there. Um, so he's playing an e golem deck. I'm thinking could be could still be a golem. 
but I think it's going to be E Golem. I want to get some nice lightning value on there, uh, but it doesn't look like he's going to give it to me. I can play it now for sure. Um, take care of pretty much all that monk. And get the E drag off the board, which is nice. Um, Let's see if he's gonna play anything here. All right, he does. So I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. I'm gonna NATO this to King. Um, that was horrible, actually. So that's going to cost us the game, most likely. Um, it's really annoying when they get uh, the raged up balloon there, just because it makes it very difficult uh, to, to NATO it to King. So I'm not gonna play the ability there yet. And we'll try to get some good damage on the right side. And maybe we can take out the left with that E-Giant as well. I think we're gonna be able to. So we're actually not in the worst spot here. I'm gonna go ahead and play a cannon. <clears throat> so he's gonna go all in here. What sucks is I didn't take out that uh I didn't take out the other side, so I'm going to have to lighten it. Um, we're going to wait till the last second here, make him defend. Let's see if he lets my queen go, actually. Uh, he's not going to, so we're going to have to lighten it, which is unfortunate. And we just need to get back to one more lightning. Um, and we do, so that should be GG. That was horrible defense when he went Lumberloon the first time. I definitely wasn't expecting it, and my NATO was late, and it didn't pull to King Tower, so that sucked. Uh, but regardless, that's three in a row, and let's actually go in for one more. See if we can get four in a row here uh, against Oscar. But as you guys can see, like I'm not even playing well, I would say, and I'm able to rise up. Uh, so I think Ultimate Champion is definitely attainable for a lot of people especially with Path of Legends now being in the game. Uh, I'm a big fan, actually, and I think it's going to make it a lot more fun. Rather than just tilting on ladder and losing, like, four or 500 trophies, um, you kind of have a, a floor now, which is good. And he's going to go bats. It's looking like he's playing Giant Graveyard, so i got to get ready for that if he goes opposite lane. Um, yeah, it's definitely going to be Giant Graveyard. I'm probably going to go Queen behind this. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to go queen behind it. He's definitely still got to play something else or else that E-Giant's going to get a ton of tower. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Damage, I meant. And he does have P.E.K.K.A. So that's really weird. Wasn't expecting that. Facing a lot of weird decks here today. Queen should take care of that, though, and I think I can get back to another E-Giant. Uh, nope. The... Queen messed my cycle up, so not quite. Um, I'm gonna go in the middle here, try to catch something. And we do, but not quite in time. Um, we're gonna have to go cannon here to catch the Dark Prince, and we don't catch it. That's really annoying. I gotta waste a NATO over commit. Um, so that didn't go the way I wanted it to. He's gonna fireball that. Interesting play. He takes my queen off the board before I can pop the ability. So this is gonna be this is gonna be tough. Um, if he cycles a Pekka, we'll be in a good spot because I can pull the Pekka with an E giant. I can kite it opposite lane. It's kind of what I'm going for. Um, not sure if that's gonna work out. If he plays something else, I'm definitely gonna lightning that, but that's not enough. All right, I'm just gonna go opposite lane with an E giant. <clears throat> so he can't go all in on the left lane. I'm going to go queen behind that. Um, try to get back to another E-Giant as quick as possible. We'll go cannon right here. I hate that he has arrows. Um, Alright. We're just going to go E-Giant here. Maybe he won't get back to the in time, but he's probably going to. He just wasted a lot of elixir. If I can get a good bar barrel off here. All right. That was okay. Um, definitely needed more out of that push. 
Maybe he will play something in the back. No, he's gonna go pack on this for sure. I'm gonna try to kill it pretty quick. DPS it down. Wait to pop my ability. All right, so he just had to waste a fireball there, and that's really good. So I'm gonna go E Giant right when I can. Try to get a good lightning off here, maybe. So that bar barrel is actually gonna help me a lot. The Dark Prince isn't gonna get hit. Let's see, is he gonna go with an Electro Wizard? I'm kind of catching him in a bad, bad cycle here. That was a weird graveyard, I'll be honest. So he's gonna have to defend both lanes. Um, go with an E Giant on the right here. I think that'll that'll be good. Hopefully that pops. It does. All right. So we're gonna go E Giant again. Try to get a good lightning off here. And we are gonna get a good one. Now it's just a matter of defending. <clears throat> I'm not sure that we can. If we do that, maybe. All right, this is getting really close. Um, he's going to get back to another arrows unless I can stop him. Come on. Nope. Yeah, that's a good game. That's a really tough matchup. Um, I guess I could have played it better, but it is what it is. He gives me the CRL emote. I'll give him the well played. He had 100. I didn't have 100 of a matchup, but he had a really good matchup, so... I'm not mad about that, but that's going to do it for today's video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.